Alright, so continuing where we left off in the last lesson, we're now going to go ahead and make some more adjustments to our shading network. So let me go ahead here and bring over the hyper shade. And you're going to see that our shader here isn't necessarily that complex. Um, it's still fairly basic. Okay. Um, I did delete off uh, the noise node for um, the virus base color here too. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and remake it real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a leather texture here. I'll just plug this in as a bump map. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, real high. 0.25 should give us, you know, at least a good bump. But what I want to go ahead and do now uh, is add a little bit more on top of this shading network so we can get some real funky looking um, shaders. Uh, a lot of glow too. So I want to add not only a glow for the um, what would be like the, the membrane of the cell um, but I also want to add it for the nucleus of the cell here. And to do that what we're going to go ahead and use is a V-Ray light material. Okay, This is a lot like the surface shader which is in Maya and Mental Ray. We're going to need a uh, ramp texture We're also going to need a utility node, um, the same utility node that we've been using, which is the sampler info node. Okay, so we're going to take this, we'll take the sampler info node, plug it into other for the ramp here. I'm not worried about renaming this, and we're just going to go ahead and pl um, plug it in as the U and the V chord here. Okay, so the facing ratio is going to always face us. We're going to take the ramp plug it into the Keller for the sampler info node or I'm sorry the V-Ray light material and then we're going to take the V-Ray light material and plug this first one into the self illumination of this v virus base Keller 2 so we'll go ahead and put that in there and you can see where this changes and you can see that it also updates here in the cellular shader so let's go ahead and make some adjustments on this Blue and pink probably um, might not be the colors that we want, so we're probably going to want sort of a um, bluish tint here. And you can see if I move it down, it's going to update here, and it's also going to update here. So we can maybe tweak this a little bit. Okay. And let's take a look at our test render here and see what this is going to look like. So right away you can see where the update here is um, fairly cool and it's starting to look a lot better. So I'm just going to go ahead and move our render view off there. Okay, Let's go ahead and maybe make some more adjustments here. So maybe we'll take this light color and just adjust these a little bit here. I'm just trying to get a little bit more um, waviness in here. As you can see where this updates a lot. And I'm using a V-Ramp, so if you want to make a V-Wave here, we can go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a self-illumination map for this as well. So we're going to use the same process here. Just come up to the top here, go ahead and create a V-Ray light material. We'll go ahead and use another ramp texture. Okay, and we need the sampler info node, which is under the utilities tab. Okay, we'll just plug this into the ramp, other facing ratio we want the U and the V cord okay go ahead and close this plug that ramp into the surface color here of the or the light color you don't have to change the color multiplier or anything because it's all um, gonna be dependent on color anyway so if we want we can go ahead here and uh, adjust the color here um, this might be, be where we want that pink Okay, so I can go ahead and maybe change this red 
Uh, we'll just go ahead and change the saturation here. Okay. See how that looks. Okay. Grab our virus shader two. Plug the self illumination in there. Okay. And maybe go ahead and adjust this here. I basically want a um, sort of weird color here. I don't want it to be really blown out. But you can see where if we start adjusting this, our shading network is really going to um, look pretty decent. So maybe let's go ahead and try a test render here and see what this looks like. And I mainly want to get some, maybe get some red and get some pink on the inside and the middle portion here. So if we wanted to, we can always just adjust this and maybe change this red color because I don't know if I'm real happy with that. Um, maybe to that purple. Take the purple and put it down there. Take the blue here. I'm mainly just trying to get some swirls and stuff here. Okay. So we use that smooth. And you can see where if we adjust that noise frequency where we get the um a funky looking shader and I'm sorta of liking that. Okay. A lot of this is just a, um, <clears throat> experimentation as well. Just try to adjust nodes and see how stuff works. So let's go ahead and do a test render of this. We'll go ahead and save this image. Take a look here. And you can see where that inner portion is. Um, still sort of cloudy but it's adding a bunch of different um, funky color changes in there which is pretty pretty decent and if we take a look at the image that we had before okay so I'll just go ahead and move that off screen here and maybe go ahead and play with the bump map on this I'll probably have to change it up here a little bit so maybe like 0.25 uh, that's probably going to be a little too strong. So 0 0.075, let's see what that does. We'll go 0 0.09. Okay, go ahead and add some more reflection here. And you can see where that really starts to change. Take a look at our opacity here. And that's probably going to be too um, too thick, so if we want to go ahead and save this, take a test render again and take a look. You can see where that cloud is starting to get a lot thicker and you can see a lot more glossiness in here. Now like I said a lot of this is just gonna basically be experimentation and just try something and if it works keep it if it doesn't then you have to you know go ahead and change it but that's gonna be too cloudy so go ahead and move this up here okay we'll go ahead and save that we'll go ahead and do another test render here And this is a big part of the process is, you know, just keep doing a bunch of different test renders to to see if it's something that you like. If not, then, you know, you definitely are going to have to change it. Um, 
right now I think this is looking really neat and unique okay so I think we'll just maybe adjust the reflectivity here maybe turn it down a little bit okay we'll go ahead here and turn the reflectivity up on the outer membrane there a little bit so you can see where our our shading network is um, I don't want to say it's complex but it, it's pretty heavy in terms of the nodes um, 15 or 20 different nodes is is a bit of a, a heavy-duty um, shading network or actually 21 to be exact but in some cases you have to do that to get the materials to look correct so like I said a lot of this is just experimentation just try stuff and, and see what works or see what doesn't work um, the additive mode here you can see where it's going to add a lot of um, extra white and we don't necessarily want that so let's take a final look here at what I think our shading network is going to look like whenever we go to render it hopefully here we have a, a shading network that we're going to be happy with okay so I think that um, I'm going to be happy with this whenever we render it out and this should give us a good result whenever we turn up our render settings um, so just as a note here um, I may decide to go ahead and make all my shading networks for the rest of our uh, <coughs> virus structures or our protein databases for the rest of these um, but I may just use the the one shader so uh, if I come back and our shaders are different um, don't worry about it I'll include the the project files but it, it'll basically be the same shader setup um, there won't be really anything different uh, it's just the same general layout here so in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and we will begin the process of getting ready to go ahead and do our uh, render settings and make sure everything's ready to cook out and then we'll go ahead and take it over to Photoshop so come on back <laughs>